Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody's having a wonderful week. It is already Thursday. It's been kind of crazy here in Texas. I just, there were just some birds up there, so I, I've been sitting here waiting for birds, and of course I turn on my camera and they fly away. There was a blue bird here. I'm not sure what kind of bird he is. He has blue wings and then kind of a rust color at the top of his chest. I um, hope he comes back because he was actually flying in and out of the birdhouse. It was very cool. Anyway, um, well, there he is. Um, and I think that's his girlfriend because they've been here together. The cardinal was here for breakfast this morning and so were the doves. And so it's been a very lovely bird day. But anyway, we have, have had some crazy weather. Um, you know, it was a nice long three-day weekend because of Memorial Day. And thank you for all those who have served and those who are serving. Thank you for all your work you do to keep our country safe. Um... So we had some household projects we wanted to do, which we did get done, so hooray, hooray, I love checking things off a list. Um, but we just had some crazy, crazy weather, and one of the days, I can't remember if it was Saturday or Sunday, my husband had opened the front door because it was getting very ominous looking out. Not like tornado looking, there have been some tornadoes not too far from here, but um, I lived through a microburst um, many years ago, and... It was crazy after that. I mean, the car windows had been blown in, and air conditioning units from businesses were down on the ground, and live wires were flying around, and trees were uprooted, and those that wouldn't give up, the sidewalk near them had buckled like five feet. I mean, it was kind of crazy. But um, the sky didn't go that weird color it does before a tornado. But my husband had opened the door and said, there's this cloud that's moving really, really fast and producing huge winds. And I looked out the back at these trees, and it wasn't windy. But by the time he walked through the house, it had gotten here. And those trees were blowing, and this poor tree has weathered the storm. She looks worse for wear at this point. Her poor leaves are very droopy, so we're praying that. I don't know if she got too much water or too much wind, but this is either going to make or break her, so we'll see what happens. Um... So anyway, it was very crazy because then it started raining like I've never seen rain. I've seen some wicked rain in my life. But this was like thousands of cylinders that the rain was falling inside of in a circular pattern. I have never seen that in my life. I actually need to look it up because I don't even know what it's called, but it was quite insane. went kind of quickly, and then it was normal rain, and it poured, and it poured, and it poured, and... And then Monday, we were just kind of having a nice relaxing day. We had finished our projects for the day, and we're just relaxing, and it just didn't look right. And so we got dressed and put on my rain boots, and we're just kind of paying attention, just in case we would need to evacuate. Um, well, we would just go to, like, an inside. One of you know, our closets um, are the most internal rooms with no windows. And... Um, I keep a, what I call my to-go box in there, um, which is a file, portable file box that has all our important documents that if, God forbid, we had to flee and lost everything, we would be able to, you know, call insurance companies and it's our, you know, marriage certificate, birth certificate, social security cards, all that stuff. And so, so after this weekend, I decided to be a little bit more protective prepared and uh, I actually went through my whole house and photographed everything serial numbers on appliances and everything and then I put them on a zip drive and put that in my to-go box as well as I hadn't backed up our computers for a while so did that and put that in there and so um, now I have copies of pretty much everything I would need and uh, we have decided to put a storm shelter in we were in the process of doing that in Ohio um, we were going to have to pour concrete there because we did not have a garage, and so we were dealing with the, the contractor for that, and the day had come where he was supposed to pour the slab, and we had asked him to come first thing in the morning, which for him was 9 a.m., because at the time my husband was working nights, and so we slept in the day, so we needed him to come first thing, and... Um, he hadn't come by like 11, and so I called, and he was just getting his tools all organized, and then he said he had to go to Home Depot to get supplies, and so he'd be there, I think he said like at 1 or something, so I just said, you know, can you get all that organized and come first thing tomorrow? And he said, oh yeah, sure, no problem. And so the next morning when he didn't come, I called and left a message, and to this moment have never heard from him again. I left several messages, 
and then a few days after that we had our first freeze and that's what we were trying to beat we wanted to pour before the first freeze and so we figured we would do it again in the spring but then at that point we knew we were moving here so and we lost our deposit on that shelter whatever it, it is what it is so anyway as of yesterday I've ordered us a storm shelter and then spent part of yesterday rearranging our garage over the weekend my husband had hung some shelves that was one of the projects and got that all organized but the place where we're going to put the shelter I still had a few things so I rearranged the garage to um, accommodate so we can have that installed um, I'm waiting for the phone call that will give us our specific date um, they have to check I guess once you uh, purchase the storm shelter they have to call your county and find out if you need a permit and if you do they take care of all that for you but that does make the process take a little longer so I'm praying that either we don't need a permit or if we do this is a very slow town I'm praying due to the weather they will act more expeditiously than they would under normal circumstances because I really want to have that in place I'm not a panicky or fearful person I pretty much figure if it's my time it's my time but I'm also not a stupid person so I want to be prepared <laughs> So anyway, so hopefully we'll have that in the next couple weeks, and then I can keep some, I have some vacuum seal bags, so I'll, you know, put some clothing items and blankets and stuff in there, that in case the whole house goes, we would at least have, you know, a couple days worth of stuff, and I'll put some, you know, toothbrushes and essential toiletries and stuff in there as well, inside some plastic bins or some, like, little shoebox kind of bin things. So that I'll be working on once the shelter arrives so that's kind of what I've been doing the past few days I'm sure anybody else who lives in Texas understands <laughs> uh, lots of flooding some really sad stories there, there I don't know if you've heard there was a, a a family who they were on holiday I believe and their um, the river started swelling and they got washed away and the husband has some really bad injuries I think he broke some ribs and punctured a lung but his wife and two children have not been found it's just so sad I believe 12 people are missing from that flood so just be praying that um, you know these storms will calm down just a hair <laughs> Uh, it, yesterday was actually very sunny and beautiful, but today is very cloudy. It's nowhere near as ominous as it has been. And the last, um, I believe it was Monday evening, we would we could hear thunder and and we could see lightning out the window above our front door. So we went and opened our door. It, it had to be a good 20 miles away. But I tell you, the lightning show that we got was spectacular. But I would imagine for over there it was probably very scary because some of the lightning looked like a touchdown. So. Um, so just be praying, and I know all over the world there's all kinds of craziness going on, not only weather, but just in general. So, um, so yeah, that's kind of what's been going on here. Um, grass is growing like crazy. I have to mow it later this way, probably tomorrow. It's, it's kind of crazy. Um, but it's just so wet um, from all the rain. And, um, yeah, so... Um, Happy to see Nicole was on. Made a little video yesterday. Girl, we're still praying for you. We love you. And know that you are headed in the right direction. So we're just praying for Nicole constantly. And um, Kimber and Kathy. And uh, Yvonne of having you on had something. I'm not sure what the situation is. But we're praying for you. And um, Nana and Papa. I always pray for Nana because she's always in pain. And... Um, there's just so many people in the community and, and that we pray for that you know Crystal and Shay with lupus and um, Sharla and Linda and Debbie we're praying for you so happy that you got the house you wanted I'm just praying that all your ducks continue to get in a row so to speak and I know you'll be happy to get home later this week and see your baby girl and your mom and so we're praying for you and so anyway, there's just a lot going on. Um, I'm happy the birds are giving you guys a nice show. <laughs> Nobody's really eating. They did eat breakfast earlier, but I think those two are doing some sort of mating dance or something. And that's the first time I've seen that bluebird go in the house. Hmm, they're ignoring each other. Oh, she's getting closer now. <laughs> Anyways, this is uh, National Geographic in Kimberly's yard. 
Anyway, let me quickly show you. I don't know if I've ever shown a, a work in progress of rooting, but I'm going to show you my Wilma girl because she has a large head like Angelina did, and she's taking some time, but she's coming along. And uh, the, the update on Angelina's eyes, uh, I'm hoping they arrive today. They did finish them, and they shipped them out on Saturday. And when I checked the the um, tracking yesterday, they were in Atlanta. So she's uh, unfortunately upside down right now because I do have a rice sack in there heating her head so I can root as soon as I finish my video. But she has a lot of hair right now. She will get a haircut. My one-eyed Wilma, she did have an eye in for a while. But I'm going to try the eyes that I got for Angelina on her and see how I like them. and might be ordering her a pair as well. Um, not necessarily the same color, but... Um, Anyway, I just love her hair. It's so soft. And it will curl. I mean, when you're working with it, it does kind of pull uh, just a hair. The, the It looks more wavy. But her hair will curl up nicely. And let me give a better view. Anyway, so that's Wilma. And then I will do have to show you. So the other night during the storm, my husband and I just sat here on the couch, kind of where Wilma is. There's a glare. But it was so amazing to be looking out those windows at just horrific storms. And... And I was sitting here looking at our vivarium and just thinking how calm and serene it was in there and just, you know, focusing on peace and being calm and joyful in the midst of a storm. And so it was just really lovely to have that. And we're actually thinking of building another one, but bigger, to put on that wall. So that's another project we might be working on. But um, the shelter comes first. <laughs> so anyway... I uh, hope everybody's having a blessed week, and oh, the other thing I wanted to say, I'm such a blonde, I'm sorry, I'm a really intelligent woman, but I do have my blonde moments. Um, so all this time I, I, you know, log into YouTube and it always shows, um, I think it says something like what to watch or something like that, or recommended to watch or something like that, and so I always scroll through, but I don't know how. So my husband watches YouTube as well, and I don't know if it's because we have Mac products. You know, he has an iPad, and I have a a a, a Mac laptop. But somehow, the recommended videos are also based on what my husband watches. So there's all these hodgepodge of things based on what I watch and things. But and so I kept. I think I've said recently I don't see some of your videos in my feeds anymore. So I have to like go look up your channel, and it was really frustrating. Well, duh. I just discovered up at the top you can click on subscriptions, so you can only see new videos from your, who you subscribe to. So that brought me so much joy. So I have now seen how many videos I have missed, and I do apologize. So hopefully I can catch up. Um, I don't really watch um, reborn videos while I'm rooting because most of them are not long enough for me to get because once you, if you root, you know you get a rhythm and you don't want to stop to click on anything. So I will typically watch a movie or be talking to somebody on the phone on speakerphone. Um, but when I paint, I do like to watch them because I can just like reach up and click real quick to the next video. So um, anyway, or I will just pick a person's channel and watch over and over. Um, I don't know why I don't do that with rooting. I guess because I can't really, I don't know. I don't know why I don't. But anyway, um... So yeah, that's what's going on here. So I'm going to be rooting Wilma for a little bit today. I do have some more cooking and baking to do this afternoon. Um, and hopefully I'll get a little more paint on Grayson this afternoon. We'll see. Um, anyway, hope everybody's having a lovely week. Hugs, love, and blessing. Blessings. Bye-bye. <laughs>